But um, he's completely out of touch with New Zealanders, I have to say, Mr Speaker, because on the very good um, Labour MP's blog, Read Alert, um, I've blogged on this issue about establishing a passenger train, uh, commuter train proposal from Hamilton to Auckland. And, um, oh, no, quite wrong, quite wrong. It's had the highest number of comments and responses of any of the blogs on that website. It's broken the record, smashed the record. And what this tells us, what this tells us is that New Zealanders understand exactly what's going on with this government. They understand, and it was a very provocative title, but this is what New Zealanders have responded to, because the title of the blog was, Why Do the Nats Hate Rail? And has it poured forth? People come in and giving their stories about exactly what they think about the National Party going around, putting down a proposal, the National MPs in Hamilton saying, no, please, we don't want another service in Hamilton. Please don't give us a rail passenger service. Now, why would they do that? And that's the very question that I've asked on this blog site. I said, who's prepared to hazard a guess on the real reason the Nats oppose rail transport? And some of them, Mr Speaker, I don't think I could actually read out in this House. But um, here's, here's just a, a smattering of them. This is from um, a person blogging um, by the name of Flower, and I, I assume that she's probably female. Oh, she is, because she says, as a Waikato girl by birth, Aucklander by nature, and living in Hamilton by choice, go Hamilton, I'm thoroughly delighted by the idea of a regular train gig chugging the willing and the weary between the hustle and pace of Auckland and the tranquility and the bliss of Kirikiriroa. For Hamilton needs this. And if David Bennett cannot see the rail cars for the truck tyres, then more fool him. This isn't just about getting those Hamiltons to Auckland, the Hamiltonians to Auckland, but getting Aucklanders to Hamilton. This city is growing, it's awakening, it's progressive, and dare I say it, it's quite happening. Now, that's the sort of vision that ordinary New Zealanders are coming forward with this, that, that this government completely lacks leadership and no, uh, no vision in this area because, in their view, the only thing that is going to transport things or people around this country is going to be private cars clogging up our roads. And if we continue down that track, Mr Speaker, we're just going to continue to have the same old problem over and over again.